when we first enter Retail Manager, we go directly to the sales screen. What we're going to demonstrate today is a simple sale to a cash sale customer. The first job you'll have to do in here is enter your staff code, and I'll enter staff code number one, which is Brian Cutler. The next field is the customer field. We're going to enter a cash sale. Cash sale is set up as C. At this point, the cursor jumps across to the custom field on the right-hand side. This could be used to gather information about the sale or about the customer. It's an optional field, and it could be used for a survey. We'll tab down to the code. Normally you'd either scan the barcode, or you'd enter the barcode, or you can look it up using F2, or the double-headed arrows. We'll choose, we'll choose the double-headed arrows, and we're going to sell a frying pan. Okay, the frying pan is selected. We can see we have three on hand, and none on lay-by. The categories are, are shown in this case and the sale price comes up from the default in the item fields, from the item itself. Press enter to bring the code down. The next item we'll sell, click on the double headed arrows and choose the kettle. Okay, we have two on hand, hand, none on lay by, and the default sale price comes through. Press enter to uh, select the item. We'll tab down to the payment details. In Retail Manager, we can have an unlimited number of payment types. In this particular sa sale, we're going to take $20 in cash and the remainder on FPOS. Enter the cash amount of $20 and click Enter to add it through. Then go to E for FPOS and if you just press Enter, it brings through the remaining amount owing on the sale of $59.47. Choose Enter. Once you've done that, a question will come up asking you to commit the transaction and telling you what change is to be given, if any. In this case, there is no change. We'll choose Y for Yes, and the sale is committed. Normally, our docket would be printed. In this case, we're displaying our docket on screen, and you can see the details of the sale of the items and of the payment types that have been used to pay for the sale. Close that preview down and the sale is now committed. It is docket number 45, sold by staff number 1 and that will stay in the system forever. Sale complete.